Over this river is a stone bridge so fine that very few equal it in the world. Words of Marco Polo as he traveled along the Silk Road in the 13th century. And fast forward 800 years, we're still able to see the same view that the Venetian explorer saw, almost entirely unaltered by history. This is the Vigo Bridge, or better known in English as Marco Polo Bridge, after the explorer. And it is the oldest existing multi-arch bridge in northern China. So 266 meters in length, it's not the longest or the grandest in the world, but it is an architectural masterpiece. 800 years ago, this river would have been rushing current. So to get a steady foundation, the designers of the bridge used this very advanced method for its time. So iron rods pierced through stone and into the riverbed. And across on the other side of the bridge, uh, each pier is protected by iron triangular shaped uh, pillars like the prow of a boat. And that uh, cuts through the floods and the ice, protecting it from erosion. So it's steady and incredibly strong. Up until 1985, this was still a functioning bridge with large lorries passing over it daily. Yet researchers estimate that from its construction in the 12th century till now, it's only sunk 12 centimeters. And this here is the very original stonework. The bridge is now completely pedestrianized now, so no more testing its limits. Now, here's the real intrigue of the bridge. Uh, these stone lions, you see them on every single pillar up and down the bridge, and every single one is different. So here, you've got the lion that sits alone with a boar under its paw, the males, and then the lions with cubs, you guessed it, the females. And we see all kinds of family dynamics here. You've got the cubs playing with each other, playing with their parents. And look at this one here. That's what happens when you test your parents' patience. So ask any Chinese person about Lugo Bridges lions and they will tell you countless. Myth? Well, over the centuries, uh, lions would be lost to lightning, to other forces of nature and man, and they'd be replaced or repaired, so their numbers would rise and fall. It's hard to keep track of and sometimes just, well, plain hard to spot. So we're at the southwest edge of Beijing, about 20 kilometers from the heart of the city, Tiananmen Square. Now, Lugo Bridge was once the only passageway from the imperial capital to what's now Inner Mongolia, so a very crucial trade route and also a defense post. So then in the Ming Dynasty, about 400 years ago, a fortress was built here on the eastern edge of the bridge to add another defense layer. Lugo Bridge and Wenping Fortress were witness to a monumental moment in Chinese history. The 1937 battle against Japanese troops, it was considered the spark to full-scale war that would last eight years. And Wenping Fortress fell, and the scars of war remain today. So today, this fortress is a small residential community, and uh, after the war, it was restored to its original Ming Dynasty-style architecture. But uh, it's come a long way from its original military purpose. I mean, flanking the main street here, you see these little alleyways, the homes. About 800 or so families live here. And their families have been here for generations. And it's got the full complement of neighborhood services. You've got the post office. And over there, you see, it looks like a old temple facade. But behind there is actually a primary school. It's only about 600 meters from gate to gate and right at the very center of the fortress sits this museum. And it is a really full comprehensive documentation of the Japanese invasion from 1931 to 45. And in this square, again, the lion, the symbol of courage, of power, of royalty. And in traditional culture, stone lions are seen as guardians to help drive away evil spirits. And that's why you typically see them in pairs, outside homes, outside shops. A full lap of this fortress wall, uh, it's about 2,000 meters, and it's still in really good condition. So we're just in a quiet corner of Beijing here, but together, Lu Gold Bridge and Wenping Fortress shoulder such heavy history. Today, though, they just sit here quietly, guarded by their lions.